What's up, YouTubers? Welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone's doing well out there. Today's video is no lesson or playing. It's more of a uh, channel update, as you say. Um, yeah, as you guys probably would have seen, I've been not on my usual uploading schedule. I've only uploaded maybe a couple videos in the past like six weeks, which is not really acceptable, right? I should be posting every week. Um, I think truth be told, I just sort of got out of the routine, you know? Um, I had some gear failure with my Apollo um, and that quickly got resolved. And I think during that slump, I got out of the routine of making videos and posting videos at least twice a week that I sort of lost the, how do you call it, the momentum to get back into the routine. And as you can see, today we're back on schedule, right? This Tuesday. Um, so hopefully this momentum will carry on and we'll get back into the routine, right? So now let's talk about lesson ideas. Um, my channel, I really want to be a hub for great quality, in-depth lessons, whether it's theory or like fundamental stuff, right? Or Grateful Dead or mayor content, right? That's what I really want the channel focus to be. Um, that is also like a two-part game, right? That's also where you guys, I'm hoping, are also practicing. And I read the comments, and it looks like you guys really enjoy the videos and it's helping you a lot. Um, what I don't want to be is a channel that, how do you call it, just reads a tab or provides tab or reads Are You Kind directly. Um, because there's not a lot of value in that, in my opinion. It's very much, you can do that on yourself. You know basic cowboy chords and what's stopping you from playing Box of Rain with Are You Kind book, you know? Um, I really want to focus on why stuff works and what's the theory behind it so that that allows you to put in the time to practice and be able to write your own solo or play a song how you want it to be played. Um, because if you want to get somewhere, you really have to put the hours in, right? You really have to put the hours in, as they call the woodshed, right? Staying up late and practicing and dedicating. Um, there's really no way around it. Um, so that leads me to lesson topics, right? It's hard to figure out what type of lesson to make. Um, my last lesson video was the um, descending pattern of four, and descending pattern of four Garcia run, which you guys really seem to enjoy. I want to make stuff like that, right? Where there's really no tab. It just comes down to listening, listening, and more listening, dissecting parts from a performance from the dad or from Garcia and figuring out how can that be a valuable lesson, right? Um, so yeah, I really want to make content that is the strongest in this area of the Grateful Dead community, hopefully, in the theory. Um, I don't really care about gear a lot. I mean, I know what I like and I stick to it. Um, if you want to improve your playing, gear doesn't really help you do that. It may incentivize you to play more because you're excited, but you have to put in the hours. Um, so, yeah. Not really a rant video, but it's like... I really want the channel to be the best that it can be. Um, we're almost at 5,000 subs. I think we're about like 4,200 subs. I would like to see the channel grow to 5,000. 
Um, that's a huge goal of mine. I mean, it's not a lot of subscribers in the realm of YouTube, but that's a decent amount of people that are following me, and that's amazing. And I really want to get there. Um, and I really want to start working with other companies like Sarno Music, right? Because that could be a lot of stuff focused in the Grateful Dead world that you guys, I'm sure, would enjoy as well. Um, so yeah, that's today's video. <laughs> <laughs> if that makes sense. I just really want this channel to be the best that it can be, right? Um, and just not reading tabs or... Yeah. Right? So if you do have any suggestions for lessons, like, please let me know and be very specific on what you want to see. Nothing like G major scale or I, mean, I do that kind of video, but that's also stuff that you guys behind the scenes have to be working on yourself, right? Um, how to connect stuff. That's all stuff practicing, right? That's in the woodshed, as they say in the music world, and just figuring out for two hours at your desk, how can I get from point A to point B on the guitar? <laughs> um, so... I guess in conclusion, I am very grateful for you, all you guys that watch. I really am. Um, and I just want to keep making content that is the best that it can be. Whether it's one video a week, two video a week, or a video every other week. You know, the best content I want to come out that's the most digestible, the best lesson in the subject. And really just a place where we can all learn and have fun and carry on this music in our own ways. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> also, I would like to point out to please hit that subscribe button. Um, according to my analytics, 72.7% .7 of you guys are not subscribed to the channel. So it's just so easy. Just press subscribe you don't even have to press the bell to be notified just subscribe to the channel and that goes a very long way and that helps me provide content for you all okay now for some fun part <laughs> um, i do want to do a quick studio tour for you guys um what was it two nights ago three nights ago i rearranged my office and as you can see i have guitars behind me which before they were farther away or to my left um so let's go on a tripod of some sort and do a quick studio tour let's go so let's start off computer wise i am running a 2017 macbook pro that's still going strong at times it struggles <laughs> but thankfully it hasn't let me down yet i am running luna Interface wise, I am running a Universal Audio Apollo Solo, which for what I do, mostly guitar stuff, works perfectly fine. I also run a pair of Yamaha HS5 studio monitors that I've had for almost 10 years. They're amazing. iPad, very dirty, which I use to monitor my camera. Here is another monitor display for my camera. And here is the rig. We have the 66 Pro Reverb with two JBLs, mic with a Royer R10 microphone. In the back, I have the Hot Rod Deluxe with the aux that I use mostly for lessons. So it's pretty quiet in here swivel over the chair and we have my overdrive special with the V Boutique cab. On it is the guitar I used in all the clips that you heard today, which is my K-Line Truxton Telecaster. To its right, I have my pedal board that I've used for most of the videos. 
Then, with another swivel of the chair, we have the guitar rack. We have the Super Eagle to the right, Silver Sky in the middle, and Les Paul on the left. So as you can see, everything that I need to work is at a swivel of the chair, right? Everything that arms reach, so I can record any time and I can turn anything on and get to playing or practicing really fast. Over here, I do have an older pedal board. And here is my studio assistant, Elliot, who just woke up from a nap and is deciding whether or not to go sleep in the guitar rack. And that is my little studio cockpit. Well, all right, guys, that is today's video, the channel update as we'll call it. Um, again, I just want this channel to be the best that it can be, right? High quality lessons on Grateful Dead, theory, fundamentals, right? Really the tools that can help all of us become masters at our craft. You know, that's the ultimate goal is to perfect the craft of guitar no matter how long that journey is so if you enjoyed today's video please please press that like comment and subscribe button again remember 72.7 percent of you guys are not subscribed to the channel so please do it's super easy it takes literally no time and it really goes a long way so with all that being said, thank you, and we'll get back to our normally scheduled programming very soon. So, yeah. See you on the next one. <laughs>